All right, so on the bench for July 1st, 2009. It's gonna be a resin fest. There's eight kits on the table here. There could be two more coming in. Both of those are uh, from 2001 Space Odyssey. And uh, I'll talk about them in a second. So what we've got here is some straight up full outright builds to just finishing touches. So over here, finishing touches for this kit include final painting. I've got to uh, detail the nose here with either these IDE ends from the computer or these little ladders. I'll find out when I get to it. But this one has been really close for a long time. All the paint is pretty much there how I want it to go. I just got to give it a final coat again. And like I say, finish up these nose details. Uh, I may also re-detail the end here, but that will remain to be seen. Over here on the Chinese satellite, I had thought I was done with this. However, what I need to do is repaint these panels here to be pure white instead of the off-white of the body. And the directions originally called for these gray stripes to be put in between all these fins. I got some better reference photos later, and it turns out those gray stripe areas are actually more like this uh, slat board here. So I'm going to have to cut 50 or 60 different pieces of these at least, if not uh, 90 to 120, and then fit them all in on both sides of each of these fins. That's going to be a trick. So let's move up to the second row here. This is the 180th Aries. So this one is going to be fresh out of the box and I'll use this as a resin demo to show folks how to deal with that. Um, I'm really looking forward to this one. It's going to be a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, it will be lit. There is supposedly an interior uh, uh, accuratization kit for it. If not, I'll have to make something because there are windows here that can be seen through. Over here on the 1 6th EVA pod, or 1 12th rather, this needs to have all the paint removed. So you can see I've already made a start of it there, so this is going to spend the next few weeks soaking in simple green to get rid of all the enamel. Basically, when I uh, initially got it, I was just so psyched that I just had to paint the whole thing and put it together. And now I have to unpaint it and put it together. Over here on the antenna module, uh, this has definitely gotten very dusty over the last few months, so I gotta wash it off. But really this is essentially done except for a few things. One, I need to print out a lot of decals and mostly put them on the back of the antenna here. Um, there's all these extra pieces that go onto the clamp here. That's not necessarily canon, but it does look pretty cool. And the major thing about this is that I actually have to finish the antenna. There's some bands that go across and then I've got to put the two uh, points on the side antennas there as well. The antenna kit comes with this little baby pod which is about 1 30th scale. So compared to 1 12th scale here, there's definitely a size difference. So like I say, the antenna comes with one of these. However, the command module that also goes with the antenna kit here comes with three of these. So that should be uh, in my hands over the course of the summer at some point. It was supposed to ship two years ago. Uh, Captain Cardboard is hoping to have it ready by the end of July. So uh, we'll see how that goes. I'd definitely be really psyched. That thing is about 15 inches across, so it's definitely as big as a basketball. And having four of these pods to work on at once will make everything simpler. I plan to create an interior and light each and every single one of them. 
so we'll see how that goes so let's swing over here and that's too bad I've got that black uh, paper down here because it well maybe it's not too much more difficult to see the Romulan bird of prey here but what you should be able to see is the horrible damage that uh, I committed to this poor thing part of this is the bondo I was doing that really was not the real problem the real problem was me throwing down lots of layers of paint trying to build the surface up and I learned two years ago that I should never do that and I just fell into doing it and ruined everything so this is an example right here of how the paint layers fucked everything up but uh, so I've started filling that in with putty because there's really no way to get that stuff down I just got to keep building the surface up unfortunately so I've started filing the putty down and that'll go well I got lots of practice repairing this kind of damage a couple years ago on some other models but yeah up here this is all paint damage one of the layers cracked and that was the end of it so hopefully I'll finish this off real quick my overall procedure is to get those two satellites down real fast because that's just real quick accuratization issues I'm gonna work on this throughout I'm gonna work on the antenna module the EVA pod is gonna soak for a few weeks I may not actually get to that but getting rid of the paint will be a major step forward and I'll be building that Aries as I go along stepping over here we got some Star Wars kits so the A-Wing this one will be lit uh, goes together really well I think this is gonna be a simple build that should go pretty fast there's uh, gonna be some tricks in the nose there getting that to fit but overall everything is really gonna work well on this one I may not build this particular one I should have another one coming in so uh, we'll see how that goes and as for this TIE fighter here I definitely have a second one coming and I will be building that one this is the very first that was sold so uh, this one is gonna get boxed uh, pretty much right after this video so uh, the second one should be in this week and that one will uh, definitely get a really good uh, working on so there's eight here the command module coming in for the discovery makes nine and then the tenth kit that I should be working on this month is the fourth satellite in this series which is the German one I've already got the French one that one is on the wall finished so uh, with those two coming in over the next couple weeks or month plus two new versions of those Star Wars kits it's gonna be definitely pretty full and I'm thinking that all ten of these kits I'm gonna carry them through the end of the year so uh, however long they take I'll definitely take them uh, I don't see them going really fast which is good and bad but it also depends on how work goes with the real job and all that kind of thing however I do see me taking the next five or six months to actually get all these done because it's a lot of work just about every single one of them is going to be lit I got a rig them all for filming and do a whole bunch of other stuff as well so if you're interested in resin kits definitely follow along because there's going to be lots of that going on and uh, if you're a fan of 2001 Star Wars or Star Trek I think I've got you covered on all that as well so uh, maybe some other stuff will pop up we'll see how it goes but at least for getting into July this is going to be the big kickoff and also speaking of July uh, over the next week or two I'm going to be finishing up my green screen series I've got to restock a lot of my basic supplies still I've got a lot of glue but I need to get some AVs epoxy and some uh, I definitely got to stock up on the LEDs and some other stuff so really I need to just throw couple hundred bucks at some basic supplies and I'll be rocking away so uh, that's pretty much it for this one hope you're all good take care see you